This episode of Partners Project is brought to you by Lynda.com. Want to know where your favorite YouTube stars go to learn their tricks? Lynda.com has tutorials on shooting, editing, special effects, and more. Go to Lynda.com slash Partners Project for your free seven-day trial right now. There are a lot of filmmakers out there on YouTube. And so what advice can you give them? How do they do what you do or I have a good, idea. I have a good idea. I mean, I think that's the thing is that I'm always thinking it's so easy to make a movie now. But it doesn't necessarily mean there's more good movies out there. Mm. You can make a movie for nothing, really. You borrow a camera that costs a few hundred dollars and you edit on your laptop and make something that's pretty professional and great. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to make something good. It may be, it may be have, have this sort of veneer of professionalism about it. But it doesn't mean there's an interesting story that anyone wants to hear about. So I, I would always say to people, it doesn't matter what you shoot on, how professional it seems or how how, how much you know about the, the technique of filming. It's about having an interesting idea having or having good jokes or having, it's the content. Content, yeah. content is king, you know? It's not about the technology. Are you using like flip cams and all that, like day to day? I mean, do you like experiment with video stuff? Yeah, no, I mean, I think, I think one of the things Joe and I have both been struck by is the, the kind of, the, you know, it's the first time we've worked in this field, obviously using you know, YouTube material. I guess it's the first time anybody's tried to do this yeah. in film. But actually, I think it's going to influence both of us in, in what we do in, 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 in our other film work. Because you see shots in Life of the Day which you couldn't achieve with a professional camera. Hmm. Um, with the you know, auto iris, auto focus, tiny little cameras. That GoPros, very, things very, like very, that. Very, I mean, there's a diver in our film who's strapped a camera to every part of his body for 16, wow. 70 different shots and dive off the ball into and the And then it's all cut together, you have know, this sort of cubist sort of view of it. You, know, of you could never get that. You or there's a shot of somebody going up to a window pane in Russia and you see a fly and he picks the fly up and puts it in his hand, walks out with the fly, opens his door all in one shot, opens his hand, you see the fly flying away over in the Russian countryside. And it's kind of beautiful, very simple. It's the kind of thing we see with our eyes all the time. You could never do that with a professional with a professional camera. So I guess so, what's the cheapest professional camera that you guys well, that use? That one that you're using. 5D. Yeah, yeah. yeah scanning 5D. Like, have you used the, this that was, the most yeah, that was the most popular camera out of all of our really high-end stuff, the Canon 5D kept, kept coming back to back. I'd say the other piece of advice is just hold the camera slightly steadier because there were lots of shots that were so good but they were so painful to watch because they were just moving around too much. And on a cinema screen, if you're at the front of the cinema, it's nauseating. Yes. So, you know, please just restrain your camera movements. And what about audio? Well, audio, this is an interesting thing. We've debated a lot in the kind of why it is that you can get this fantastic HD quality camera for $2,000. Yes. Um, beautiful professional quality and yet the sound is so lousy mm -hmm. and why have they not developed why, why is sound you technology not to yours, yours you know <laughs> yeah. it's just stuck we'll on the sound you know. but you know that's the other thing is people aren't thinking about sound we have this amazing clip where this very pretty little girl was asked by her father the question what do you fear and her answer was something very profound she said you know what happens if god doesn't exist and we end up lying in the ground forever and she looks at the camera and you think, yeah, that is a great assurance. She yeah. looks good, you know, and the trouble is the guy, you know, beautiful girl, great question, great answer, but he's, you know, stuck the, the girl next to an air vent. Next. And we spent, you know, the sound team, it was like CSI trying to get, <laughs> you know, the, 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 the sound of her voice separate from the sound of the air vent. And I think people aren't thinking about sound enough. And I mean, I come from a sound background, so I'm sort of like obsessive about it, but. It's one of the key ingredients in editing, I think, is, you know, it's relaxing to hear sound that's well recorded and you can concentrate on the story and not being distracted. Yeah. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Lynda.com. Do you want to learn how to be a YouTube pro? Well, go to Lynda.com slash Partners Project for your free seven-day trial right now and learn from the best. See you soon.